Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual Mishnah Berish. Here we're holding Mishnah Berish Halek Beis, and in Yirtz Hashem today we will be learning Dafayin Ches Amad Aleph and completing Simon Kuf Ayin Hey, discussing the bracha of Hatoiv Vahametiv on Yayin. We pick up on Ayin Zayin Amad Beis. We're in the middle of Simon Kuf Ayin Hey Sif Beis. We're up to the words of the Rama, four lines off the bottom, a few words into the line. Before we begin our learning today, our learning should be a schus for Achenu Kol Beis Yisrael on the Sudan Matzaru Bashivya Haimdem Ben Bayam or Ben Bayabasha Hamakayim Yirachem Alehem the Yitzir Mitzaru Levracha Meafela Laura Umiyshibud Lugula Hashda Bagalov Zman Kariv and Emar Amen. Our learning should be a schus for Fuish Shalema for our real Yosef Ben Miriam Rezel and Mayor Ben Chayisar. They should have a Fuish Shalema Bekariv. So. We had begun Sif Beis already in the previous year. And what the Mechaber told us in the beginning of Sif Beis, he told us that we make the bracha of HaToi Vahametiv on a second wine by default. We don't have to know for certain that the second wine that's coming to us is more Chashev than the first wine. As long as it's a different min, as long as it's a different type of wine, and we're going to define soon what does this mean halachically that it's a different type of wine. But so long as it's a different min of yayin, the default is we make our type of native, even if we're only mesopic, that maybe the second wine is better. We don't have to know for sure. So long as we do not know that the second wine is inferior to the first wine, we make our type of That's what the Bechabra told us. Now says the Ramah, Haga, the Rama says, when it comes to this question, the Ein Chilik, there's no difference, Bein Shnehem Chadoshim, there's no difference if what we're dealing with over here is two wines that are, so to speak, new wine, in, in other words, they're not so aged, Oy Echad Chadosh Ve'echad Yashon, or we're talking about a new wine and an aged wine. What does this mean? Let's take a look here at the Mishtabura. Mishtabura is cut and test. The Ein Chilik says to Mishtabura, what's the Ramah saying? Hainu bein le'inyin brechas bar bragofen. This halacha of the Ramah, that is no difference, where we're talking about two different types of wine, says the Ramah, it doesn't matter if both of them are new, fresh wines, or one is a new wine and one is an old wine. So explains the Mishnah Brewer that this has ramifications to two different halachas. It has ramifications to the question of making another Bayer Piagafen. It also has a ramification to the question of making Gatay Vametiv. Explains the Mishnah Brewer as cut and test. Hainu. Bein le'in yed brechas Bayer Piagafen. The Ramah is telling you what halacha in Bayer Piagafen. She'ein tzarek levarech afilu michadosh liyashan. We learned earlier that when you make a Bari Priyagafen on Yayin during the Suda, you only make one Bari Priyagafen no matter how much wine you're going to drink during the Suda. You don't make another Bari Priyagafen on each drink of wine. Says the Ramah, you should know that's true even if the you made the original Bari Priyagafen on a Yayin Chadosh, an unaged wine, a new wine, and then later they brought you an aged wine, which is normally quite a bit more chashev. You might think maybe now I have to make a new bari priyagafen. Says Ramah, no, you don't. Also, ubein le'inyin brachas ha'toif. There's also a ramification when it comes to the question of the brach ha'toif ha'metiv, which is, shetzarich levarich, you need to make ha'toif ha'metiv on the second wine, afilu kisheshtem chadoshim. Even if both wines were yayin chadosh, you might think if both wines are yayin chadosh, Neither one of them are particularly chashev. Yain chadosh is usually not considered very chashev. So maybe there's no atoiv ametiv. No, says the Ramah. You could have atoiv ametiv even if the first wine and the second wine were both yain chadosh. It's a different taste. It's a different min. And unless we know that the second one is inferior, we're going to make atoiv ametiv. Vatam. The reason for this is, says the Mishnah the Kevin Chehuvu Mishnei Kalim. Because since these wines came out of two different barrels, they were fermented in two different barrels, therefore they're going to have two different tastes. Chashivi kishnei minim, it's considered two different minim of yayin, and by default, we're going to assume that the second one is worthy of making a brach on ribu yayin, unless we know that it's inferior, ukidla kaman besif vav. 
Then the the words of the Ramah, the Ramah said, and we, the Mishnah Bur just explained that in the context of the bracha of Hatoi Vametiv, the, the Ramah is telling me that you could make Hatoi Vametiv on the second wine, not only if the second wine is aged, it's Yashan, and the first one was Chadash. Over there we understand you're going to make Hatoi Vametiv. The second one is clearly superior, it's aged. But says the Ramah, no, even if they're both Chadash, you could still make Hatoi Vametiv. Now take a look at Mr. Roy's cotton yud, Ayachan Chadash. The Mr. Roy gives a caveat. The Dafka me Chadash liyashan. However, there is a difference between if you're dealing with the first wine being Chadash and the second wine being Yashan, or if the first wine was Yashan and the second wine was Chadash. Says the Mr. Roy, the Dafka me Chadash liyashan. Ava mi Yashan le Chadash. Let's say the first wine that you drank was Yayin Yashan. The first wine that they gave you was aged wine. The second wine that they gave you was Chadash. That's new wine. In that case, says the Mishnah Pistama Loi. In that case, the default position would be not to make a So let's put this in perspective. The Mechaber told me in the beginning of Sif Bey's, they give you two wines, they bring out a second wine, by default, you make a toy vametiv, you can assume that the second one is more chashiv, and you can make a toy vametiv on the second wine, unless you know that the second wine is inferior. Then the Ramah brought up the question of Yayin Chadash, Yayin Yashan. Now says the Mishnah in here, a nice cotton yud, there is a difference between going from a Yayin Chadash to a Yayin Yashan, or going from a Yayin Yashan to a Yayin Chadash. If you're going from a Yayin Chadash to a Yayin Yashan, then we could assume by default that the second wine is going to be more Chashev, because after all, that's an aged wine. But if we're going from a Yayin Yashan, from an aged wine to a Yayin Chadash, then we cannot by default assume that the second wine is more Chashev and make a Toiv if you're going from a Yain Yashan to a Yain Chadash, you have to at least know that the second wine is as good as the first wine. You don't have to know that the second wine is superior to the first wine, but you at least have to know that the second wine is at least as good as the first wine. It brings this down from the Ateris Canaan. Okay, continues the Ramah. The Ramah says, Va'afilu, this is three lines off the bottom, a little bit past the middle of the line. Says the Ramah, Va'afilu, you could even have a Berch HaSatoi Va'amitiv, Va'afilu, Shasa Mimenu Toishloi Shemyoim. You could even have a Toi Va'amitiv if this second wine that they're bringing you, it's a wine that you've already tasted. You had, you drank this wine within the last 30 days. Says the Ramah, you could still have a toiva mitiv. What's going on here? Says the Mishnah is cut in half. Toishloi shemiyim. La fuke. This comes to contrast. Miman de svirale from those who hold the imshasa toishloi shemiyim yain zeh that if you drank from the second wine within thirty days, ain chavav alav kol kach, then it can't be considered that chashiv to you. V'lo yivarch alav brichas a toiva mitiv kamash molan that you can. In other words. Says the Chavetz Chaim, why is the Ramah telling this to me? The Ramah is telling you, there is a shita that holds that if you drank, this, you already tasted the second wine that they're bringing you. You had it last week. You had it two weeks ago. So you know what it is. You're going to go make a toy vametiv? You don't have that kind of excitement that, wow, I'm drinking a new wine. Now you know this wine already. You drank it within the last 30 days. So there is a shita that says if you drank it within the last 30 days, it's not eligible for Atoy Vametiv. Paskins, the Ramah, not that way. The Ramah Paskins, that it is. Back to the Ramah, three lines off the bottom near the end of the line. Yesh Oimrim. There are those that say, Dim Shasa Tchilo Yayin Edoim. If first you drank Odoim, if first you drank red wine, and then they bring you a bottle of white. 
even if the white wine is considered technically inferior to the red wine, you still make atoiv ametiv. So you hear? There's a shita that says, if the, second, if the first wine was a red wine, and the second wine is a white wine, that even if the white wine is a less choshev than the red wine, you still make atoiv ametiv. Why would that be? Says the Ramah, if you bari leguf, yaisir manadaim. Says the Ramah, white wine is healthier, it's better for you than red wine. It's funny, because I think card science wants to say that red wine is healthier because of the tannins, and this and that. I'll take the Ramah over card science. The Ramah is bringing down over here that uh, white wine is healthier than red wine, and therefore you would make atoy vametiv on white wine after red wine, even if technically the white wine is is more inferior. Says the Mishnahis cut your base, yes, garua, retain a lima garuaksas. When the Ramah suggests that there are those that say that you'll make a toiva mative on an inferior white after drinking a superior red, that's only if the white is only a little bit inferior to the red that you drank. Avalib Garua Harbe Loyavarich. If you had a two hundred dollar bottle of red and then somebody brought you a, um, a bottle of Cream Niagara, we're not going to say that you should make a Hatoy Vabetev on the Cream Niagara after having a $300 Cabernet. That wouldn't make any sense. Ice cut your gimel. The reason given was because white wine is healthier. Yoiser mina adaim is healthier than the red wine. We come up nevertheless, if they brought you a white wine, if the white wine was first, and then they brought you a red wine, you're going to make a toivametiv in yedea sha'adam shomach yoyser if you know that the red wine is more superior. Well, right? In other words, we're not going to say, oh, white wine is healthier than red wine, therefore you never make a toivametiv on red wine after white wine. No. If they bring you a red wine, and you know that the red wine is more superior to the first white wine, you're going to make a toivametiv. Aval bestama loy. But not by default. Since the white wine is healthier, so by default, red wine is considered inferior to white wine. Therefore, if you want to make a toiva metiv on red wine after white wine, you have to know that the red wine is superior in quality to the white wine. So it comes out over here by the end of Sif Bays. I think if you take the Ramah and the Mishtabura into consideration, I think what you end up with is like this. The Mechaber at the beginning of, beginning of Sif Beis tells you that when it comes to this question of Atoy Vahmetiv, you do not have to know for certain that the second wine is more Choshev than the first wine. As long as the second line is a Min Acher, as long as it's a different type of wine, which we're going to see means it was fermented in a different barrel, so it's a different type of wine, by default, we allow you to make atoy vametiv on the second wine, unless you happen to know that the second wine is inferior to the first wine. That was the opening shot of the Mechaber. So the opening shot from 30,000 feet was very simple. We don't need to know for sure that the second wine is superior to the first wine, as long as we have a suffix, as long as we think the second wine might be superior to the first wine, we make atoy vametiv. Then the Ramah came along and started talking about Yain Chadash, new wine, Yain Yoshan, aged wine, and the Mishtabur gave us right away a caveat. The Mishtabur told us this halacha of the Mechaber, that by default we can assume the second wine is more superior, that's only if you're going from Yain Chadash to Yain Yoshan, or I think from Yain Chadash to Yain Chadash. But if you're going from Yain Yoshan your first wine was an aged wine, and your second wine was a yain chadash, your, your second wine was a new wine, well then by default, new wine is inferior to old wine, to aged wine. Then you have to know for sure that the second wine, the yain chadash, is at least as good as the yain yasha. Still don't have to know that it's superior, but you have to know at least that it's not inferior. It's that amount of knowledge you have to have. And now, another caveat 
that we saw over here is the question of white wine and red wine, where we see that if you're going from white wine to red wine, you need to know that the red wine is better than the white wine. Why? Because the default is that red wine is inferior to white wine. Okay. Now we go to Sif, to Sif Gimel. Now, in order to properly understand Sif Gimel, we need to have a proper understanding of a halacha that we learned in Sif Aleph. Let's, like, recap a little bit over here. The opening of Simon Kuf Ayin Hei, Kuf Ayin Hei Sif Aleph told us, Heviu lahem yayin acher. The whole case of Atoiv Ametiv was laid out to be in Sif Aleph by the Mechaber, where what happened was you had Shinu Yayin, in the words of the Gemara, in Brachas Nud Tesam and Beis. Shinu Yayin, you changed wines. You have a new wine. So the Mechaber told us, Heviu lahem Yayin Acher. What does that mean? You made a Bari Priyagafet on one wine, and now they went in and they brought you a second wine. They brought you a second wine. Now you are, you're not going to make a new Bari Priya Gofen. That you're not going to do. But you're going to make a Toiv Ametiv. Okay. Then, at the top of Ayin Zayin Amit right by the Ois Cotton Dalad for the Mishnah Bura, the Mechaber came along and the Mechaber qualified this. The Mechaber said, V'lav dafka heviyu lehem mechadosh. When I told you at the beginning of Sif Aleph, that they brought you a new wine that they didn't have before, it sounds like this is mamish, a new wine. You had no expectation of having this wine. You didn't know this wine existed. They brought you a new wine. That's when you make a toiv ametiv. Says the Rechaber, no, it doesn't have to be that they mamish brought you a new wine. Says the Rechaber, even if you had both wines, you knew that you had two wines available to you. Still, you're still going to make on the second wine. Now, the Mishtabrura in Sif Aleph told us, you have to be very careful how you understand what the Mechaber just said, right? Again, the Mechaber is saying, is not only if they brought you a new wine. No. is even if you already had both wines. Now, you can't take that at face value. The reason you can't take that at face value is because if you sat down by the Suda and you had two bottles of wine in front of you and one bottle is a better wine, one bottle is a more kosh of a wine and the other bottle is a less kosh of a wine, you had to make the Bari Priyagafen on the more kosh of a wine. That's halacha always in Hilchus Brachas. You have to give Kedima for the Bracha you have to, for, for the covet of the bracha, you have to give kedima to the thing that's more chashev. So if they served you a suda and they put down a, a, a $50 bottle of Cabernet and a bottle of, of Concord grape, you had to make the Bari on the Cabernet. Now, once you made the Bari Priyagafen on the Cabernet, so you made the Bari Priyagafen on the more of wine, you no longer have the option to make a toivametiv. Because you can only make a toiv on a second wine. You can't make a toiv on the first wine because you make the brach on riboyayin. The first wine is not riboyayin. So you can't take the Cabernet and make a bird priyagaf and make a toiv That you can't do. Nor can you now take the Concord grape as the second wine and make a toiv of the Concord grape because you know that the Concord grape is inferior to the $30 Cabernet. So in, in that case... You can't say that the Mechaber on the top of Ayin Zion, Amin Beis, is telling me, even if you had both wines in front of you, Al HaShulchan, you could still make Atoy Vametiv. That can't be. So explain the Mishnah, what does the Mechaber mean? The Mechaber means you didn't have both bottles in front of you on the table when you made a Bari Priyagafen. When you made the Bari Priyagafen, you had the bottle of Concord grape on the table. The $50 Cabernet was downstairs in the refrigerator. Now, you were even expecting, you were planning on serving the $50 Cabernet later in the meal together with the prime rib. So you knew that eventually you're going to take out the the $50 Cabernet, but you didn't take it out yet. Says the Mechaber, since it's not Munach Lefanecha Al HaShulchan, 
since you sat down to the table and the only bottle of wine on the table is the Karkur grape, you're not mechuyiv to go downstairs and get the $50 Cabernet, even though you know it's coming out later in the meal. Doesn't matter, it's not here now. I'm ready to make a bar piag offer now. I want to drink wine now. Is the $50 Cabernet here? No, it's downstairs. So I can make a bar piag offer on the Concord grape. And then later, when I go get the $50 Cabernet, I'll bring it upstairs. I won't make a new Hagafen, but I'll make a Toiva Meitiv because I'm having a second bottle. And the second bottle is more Hashiv than the first bottle. That was the ruling of the Mechaber in Sif Aleph on the top of Ayin Zion of the The Mishnah Brewer brought down the Lechem Chamudois, who disagrees. The Lechem Chamudois said the Mishnah Brewer, the Mishnah Brewer says the Lechem Chamudois holds no. If you had the $50 Cabernet downstairs in the basement and you were planning on serving the $50 Cabernet, then you're not going to be able to make Atoy Vametiv. You know why? The reason you're not going to be able to make Atoy Vametiv is because the Lechem Chamudais holds. If you have the $50 Cabernet downstairs in the basement and you're planning on serving it during this meal, then you have to bring it upstairs now and make a bari priyagafet on it now. And since you're going to have to make a bari priyagafet on it now, according to the Lechem Chamudais, that's going to be your first wine, and there goes your chances for Atoy Vametiv, because you made the bari priyagafet on the $50 Cabernet, and now you're left with a Concord grape for your second wine. You can't make Atoy Vametiv on the second wine. That was the Machloikis between the Machaber and the Lechem Chamudais brought down by the Mishnah the Mishnah Brewer tells us, Suffolk Brachus Lahakal, we should go like the Lechem Chamudais. What does that mean that we should go like the Lechem Chamudais? Well, Suffolk Brachus Lahakal means that we're not going to make Hatoy Vametiv. But what's odd is that the Mishnah Brewer doesn't tell you, okay, you're Machuyev to go downstairs, bring up the Cabernet, and make a bird Priya Gofan in the Cabernet. So it could be that the Mishnah Brewer is not poskating that way. You hey, see, the Mishnah Brewer, I think, I think, the Mishnah is splitting hairs. The Mishnah is not possibly like the Lechem Chamudis Lechumr. He's not telling you that when you sit down in the beginning of the Suda, since you have the $50 Cabernet downstairs and you're planning on serving it, you're mechuyiv to go get it, make a bari priyagafen on it. He's not telling you that. But what he is telling you is, okay, so you didn't go get it. So what do you do? So you made a bari priyagafen on the, on the Concord grape, he doesn't want you to go make a Toi now on the $50 Cabernet. Because why? Well, you're making a Toi Vametiv, even though I don't know, because in, in Mr. Murray's cut he says, Oisha Avaru Beirich ala Geru Atchila Tzarek Levarek Perches HaToiv Al Yagin Hasheni. I don't know. The truth is, it just struck me that according to what the Mr. Murray says in Ois Cut Hay, I don't see how the Chavaz Chaim could split hairs that way. So, it could be that this Mishnah Burr and Ice Cotton Dalvin is taka telling you that if you have the $50 Cabernet downstairs in the basement, you're taka mechuyiv to bring it up and you're taka mechuyiv to go make a bracha on it first. But in that case, I don't see why the Chavetz Chaim says, Usafik brachas lahakal. It's not the way I would have worded it. What I would have said is, since we're going we're gonna to go like the Lechem Chamudais, you're not going to be able to make Hatoy Vametiv, because you made the Bari Priyagafen on the Cabernet first. <laughs> One second. Okay, I need a little Yoiser Ion on that. We'll see if I can get back to you. But in any case, that's the halacha of Sif Aleph. Now we go to Sif Gimel. So says the Mechaber, the bottom line here in Ayin Zayin and Medbez, uh, Sif Gimel. Heviyu lehen yayin ra, v'yayin toiv ke'echot. 
So now what happens in this case? This case is the case that I gave you earlier. They came at the beginning of the Suda and they gave you the $50 Cabernet and the bottle of Concord Grape at the same time. They gave you a clearly superior wine and a clearly inferior wine together at the same time. Says the Mechaber, what do you do? You have to make a on the better wine because you're always to make the bracha on the better wine. And with the Bari Priagofen on the $50 Cabernet, you're going to potter the Concord Grape. Don't go ahead and make a Bari Priagofen on the, on the inferior Concord Grape in order to allow yourself the opportunity to make a Toiv Ametiv on the Cabernet. In other words, you might think, I'm going to be an Oibachachem. I have a $50 Cabernet and a Concord Grape. If I make the Pari Priyagofen on the $50 Cabernet, I blow any chance of making Gatoi Vametiv because now my second wine is an inferior wine. So you know what I'll do? I'll make the Pari Priyagofen on the Concord Grape. So now I knocked off the Pari Priyagofen and now my second wine is a $50 Cabernet. I can make Gatoi Vametiv. And Lachari, this is a big Milo because now I got to be Marbe Bebrachas. Now I got an opportunity to make a second bracha. Says, says the Mechaber, no. You must make the Bari Priyagofen on, on the more superior wine. And you're going to cover the inferior wine with the Bari Priyagofen on the superior wine. Don't be an Oibachachem and make the Bari Priyagofen on the Concord grape in order to save the opportunity to make a toiv ametiv on the cabernet afterwards. Because basic kedima and brachas 101. You always have to make the bracha on the thing that's the ikr, the primary drink, and the more chash of a drink. Says the Mishnah is cutting your dalad. Now, vim mesupik lu ezeru toiv Let's say they gave you two bottles at the beginning of the Suda, and you don't know which one is the better wine. Okay, you might think that if they gave you two brachas at the beginning, and one is one is better than the other, and you don't know which, maybe you bechuyiv to be mevar. How are you going to be mevar? Well, if you're at a restaurant, you can ask the sommelier. You can ask him which one is a better wine. If not, what you could do is you could take a sip. Don't swallow it. Swish, swish it around in your mouth and spit it out so you're not mechuyiv in a bracha. So taste both wines. Figure out which one is more superior. Make the halag, make the bari priyagofen on the superior one and then no no hatoy vametiv on the inferior one. Says the Mishnah, says the Mishnah, no. In mesopik lo'ezu toy ra, if you have a suffix, which wine is a better wine than the other one? Mutaloy lechatchila levarech bari priyagofen ola akas you could go ahead and make pick one and make a bari priyagofen and make a toiv ametev on the second one, assuming that the second one is more superior, because that's what we learned earlier. We learned earlier, beginning of Sif Beis, we learned earlier that you don't have to know for sure that the second one is more superior, as long as you have a suffix. By default, you could assume that the second wine is superior. So says the Mishnah you have a suffolk, you're not a chuyiv to be mevar of the suffolk. You could go ahead, pick one, make a bar priyagofen, and then make a toiv ametiv on the second one. Af shehuvu lefan of lechatkila shtein kachas, even though they're both in front of you at the same time. Vizel midina, that's the halacha me'ikar adin. We call makam, nevertheless. Toiv lahader kishyesh lan suffolk ezu toiv, the, the, you should be mahader, the best course of action would be you have two bottles in front of you and you're mesopic. What you should do is take one of them off the table. So you have two bottles in front of you. You don't know. Is one more kashav than the other. Tell the, the host, you know what? Take one bottle away. Now I only have one bottle in front of me. I'll make a bari priyagofen on that one and I'll make a toiv ametiv on the second one. V'achakach yivart bari priyagofen on la'achas. That takes away all the svekas. Let's say you're going to have a nice, beautiful suda, 
and you're going to be bringing out a bunch of bottles of wine. And you're going to have a better bottle, and then a better bottle, and then a better bottle. You want to make a toiva meitav on each one. So first, you're going to make, first, you only have kakud grape on the table. So you'll make a bar prag off it. Now you covered bracha rishayna for all the wine that you can have during the meal. Then they bring you out a nice cabernet. Okay? Cabernet is wool choshev. Then the kakud grape, you make a toiva meitav. Then they bring you out a $35 bottle of Cabernet. Oh, you go ahead, you make another Taiva Mative. Now they bring you a $65 Merlot. So now you'll make another Taiva Mative on the $65 Merlot. Then they go ahead and they bring you a $75 Special Reserve Chardonnay. Now we're going already from red to white. So now you're going to make another Taiva Mative. You keep going up the ladder. But the El Yarabah says, if you want to be able to make atayva meitav on many different wines, yesirim al kalpanim me'ashulchan b'shas bracha rishayna. You should go ahead and when you make the first atayva meitav, don't have any of the other wines on the table. Make atayva meitav in the vacuum of that bottle. V'achakach kishesheisa filu kamiyenais mevarak al kolechad berches atayv. And then you bring out new bottles, you can make Hatoy Vametiv on the new bottles. Seems that the El Yarabah was concerned for the possibility of Hatoy Vametiv covering all the rest of the Riboyayan that's going to come in the future. So he says, no, when you make one Hatoy Vametiv, make it on that bottle in a vacuum. Don't have additional bottles on the table. Sivdal. Another interesting halacha in Hatoy Vametiv. Ein Levarak Hatoy Vametiv. You don't make the brach of Hatoy Vametiv. Elim Kenyesh Acher Imai. Unless you're drinking with somebody else. Why? Tahachi Mashma. Because that's the implication of the brach Hatoy Vametiv. Hatoy Loi. Hatoy. The Rabbi Yishon is doing Toy for me. Vametiv Lechaveroi. And also to my friend. Same thing if you're drinking with your wife and your children, you, you can make because it's not only you getting Hana, it's them getting Hana also, if they're drinking. But if you're all alone, you can't make Hatoiv Vametiv. Says the Mishnah is cut in Tezvav. You have to have other people drinking with you. And they have to drink from this second wine that you're making the bracha for Rebu Yayin. They also have to partake from this second wine. But if you're the only one drinking the second wine, or only your friend is drinking the second wine, you can't make a toiv It has to be b'chabura. It has to be that you're drinking it with a group, or at least one other person. Gam, furthermore, very interesting halacha. This is based on a Mordechai. Gam ba'inon dafka sheyela chaveri shutvis ba'isayayin. The chaver can't stand be a chaver at the table. He has to have a level of shutvis, a level of partnership in that wine. We have to see what this means. Avalim uraka reyach ba'alma, if he's stam a guest, she'abalabais noise lo'ilishtois, and the balabais gave him a drink. In other words, that means you have a guest at the table who has no right to take the bottle by himself and pour himself a drink. He only gets to drink if you pour him a drink. In that case, you can't make a toiv ha-metiv. If in Iraq, Iraq ba'alma, shabalabais, toisa lo'lishtais, lo'yokalai mebrechaz ha-toiv. Because of a mangan, why? Because it's not such a hatova for the Iraq. The Iraq is, it's out of his control. You, make, you want to make a brach on Rebu Yayin. The Oireach doesn't feel Rebu Yayin because the Oireach only gets the Rebu Yayin if the Balabais gives it to him. So he's not feeling the Rebu Yayin that you should make a brach of Atoy Vametiv. That's why we're going to see later if it is the way it usually is by us where the bottle is on the table and once the bottle is on the table is fair game. Anybody sitting around the table could take. Then that's considered that all of the guests do have Shutfis. In the wine, and you could make a toiv ametiv. The cause of a bagan avram, the bagan avram writes the gal balabayis la yachalayim a brachazu boyfin zeh. If the balabayis is sitting there with guests who have no right to partake of the wine without him giving it to them, then he also can't make a toiv ametiv. Im loisha balabayis hem and a kan kan al shulchan lishtais unless the balabayis puts the bottle on the table lishtais misha yirtsa. 
so that anybody could drink, then have a shutfis. That is considered that they have a shutfis in the wine, the yachal afal ireach levarich, and then even the guest could make the bracha. The Ishta Yubanov, wife and children, Kevin Chatzarch Laparnasan, since you have a chiv to give them what they need, have a kiil yesh lam chalik by their considered shutfim in your wine, and therefore they allow you to make a toivamative, and they can make a toivamative. Gambi inunchi yishtu bechabura biyachad, also, to make a toivamative, everybody has to be drinking together. Veloi zebechedu zev, zebechedu zev. If one guy is in one room and the other guy is in the next room, you can't make a toivamative. Also, the Achreinim reach a conclusion. Both people have to be drinking from both the first wine and the second wine. But if one fellow, if they both, let's say, drank the first wine, but now only one of them is drinking the second wine, or maybe the, only one of them drank the first wine and now they're both drinking the second. Ain Lavarech, you can't make a toivamatif. Kasach write him, Yak write him right, but Rekas Hatoiv, Yak Lavarech, but Yevet, Afshak Far Shasa, Veniska Keshayai and Bifiv. Let's say they brought out the second wine, they brought out the Cabernet, and you go, oh, that looks like a good bottle. You take a drink, and then you suddenly realize while the Yayan is in your mouth, oh, whoops, I didn't make a toivamatif. You could still go ahead, Sheboilo, you could swallow it, Umavarch Achakach, and you can make the Brach of Atoiva Metiv if you swallow it. Since you remembered the Brach of Atoiva Metiv before you swallowed it, you can still make it after you swallowed it. Avalum Nizka Akashakrashosa, but if you first remember the Brach of Atoiva Metiv after you completed your drink and you swallowed it, Ain Kedai Lavarich, don't take a risk of a Brach of Atol and make a Brach. If there's more of the second wine in the bottle, certainly you can still make a bracha, make a toiva metiv and drink more. That's akin to somebody who washed, forgot to make a moitzi, ate chala, and he remembers before the end of the suda that he didn't make a moitzi. So make a moitzi and eat more. Okay, now we go to Sif Hay, which has no mishtabur on it. Says the Mechabrim Rabbim Mesubim Besuda, if many people are sitting together by a Suda, and now they bring out a second wine and everybody's drinking to make a Toiv Ametiv, Kalechad Bevarak Laatzvay a Toiv Ametiv, everybody should make their own a Toiv Ametiv. Velo Yavarak Echad Kulam, one person should not be Moitzi the rest in a Toiv Ametiv. Why? Because remember what we said, either we're afraid of the Sakana, people are Torid Besuda, the Chayshin and Shemi Yakdimu Kanav Leveshet. Kishiyano Amen, we're afraid of the sakan of people choking. But if it's a drinking party, nobody's eating, then Echad Mavarach Lakula. Final Sif in the Simon, Sivav, says the Mechaber. Yayin shall stay chaviyos. If you have two wines, wine that came from two different barrels. It's all one type of wine. <coughs> they pick the grapes. It's all one type of grape, but there's a lot of grapes. So they had a lot of barrels of wine. So Yayin shall stay chaviyos, wine that came out of two barrels, but it's all one type of wine. It depends. If within 40 days of the grapes being harvested, they were put to ferment in two different barrels, chashivi kishte minim, it's considered two different wines. But if it was first divvied up after 40 days, you can't make a bracha on the second wine. After 40 days, the taste is already established. So after 40 days, the fact that now you're separating it into two barrels, that's not going to make enough of an effect on the wine that it should be considered two minim. It is considered min echad. Once, once, if it was separated to ferment into two separate barrels within 40 days, so by the time it went into the barrel, it was still considered fresh. The Yochel is collected by time. And now they went into two separate barrels and they could develop two different tastes. But if it's after 40 days, 
who bechlal yayin yoshon. It's already considered yayin yoshon. They ain't mishdana timely, and now that the, they're not going to establish different tastes anymore. Umin echad who they ain't zeh bechlal shino yayin, and now it's not considered a new wine. Okay, we're going to stop over here. We'll continue next time with the new simon. Thank you so much for joining me for Lima Natayra. The source of Lima Natayra should be making a ganz klai Yisrael. The Rambam Shem should send Yeshua and Sephora's panasit should do him to all those in need. We should be zayichet to the Geula Shleima with the BS girl Tzedek. But Beherav Yamenu Amen. Be well.